Dude, did you hear the news? Taco Bell's got a new cantina menu out. Really, man? They got a they got cantina menu. What what does that even mean? What does that imply? Well, so now when you eat the tacos, they're kind of like What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Code Goes Create. I'm Coleman, and I am here after a long, long weekend at the Texas Independence Relay. So I'm here now. I'm chilling, and I have some Taco Bell to eat uh, and review. Taco Bell's new. Uh, I apologize for my voice as well. It's going out. It was a long weekend, like I said. But that's what water was made for. So, um, so yeah, so we have, um, we have some Taco Bell, their new cantina menu. Um, so we have, um, I'm not sure which, two, this is probably the crunchy or the crispy cheese something taco. I don't know. It's, it's been a long weekend. This is their soft cantina chicken taco. And this is the, um, their, their chicken quesadilla cantina chicken. So we got three items here to review, as well as we'll give a general taste of their uh, avocado verde salsa. So this, this is new. The general gist is, rather than seeming like items that you get at a fast food Mexican place, they're supposed to seem like you got them at an actual cantina-style Mexican restaurant. So that's what we're going to find out about. Um, we're going to save the quesadilla for last. Let's go ahead and dive in here. And yes, this looks like this is their crispy, cheesy cantina uh, taco here. Wow, this thing's loaded with cheese. Um, first off, does it look like something uh, that you would get at a cantina-style Mexican restaurant? Not really, <laughs> not really. Um, but this is their most similar item to what they already have. Their, their chicken is done in a slightly different way for all of the items. Um, and I believe this has a spicy chipotle sauce on it. Um, but this one, that's really, it's just more so just like they're kind of like uh, melts and their their crispy tacos that they've done in the past. Um, but with uh, with a little bit extra sauce on that, uh, that, that chicken and I ain't talking spicy chipotle. The rest of them have like updated veggies, stuff like that. So we'll see a little bit more contrast as we get deeper in, but cheers. I gotta say, the chicken has a really nice texture to it. It's got a really good taste, too. A lot of the taste is kind of being overpowered by that sauce that's in there, but the actual cook on the chicken seems really nice. Um, the cheese makes it a little, like, hard to bite off the actual taco there, but also that cheese tastes good, so I can't complain too much about it. We're gonna take a couple more bites here. Okay, overall, that one's really good. I'm gonna take one more bite using the avocado verde salsa. Um, I don't think this is really the item that you would use this salsa on, but, um, oh, that was much more liquidy than I thought it was. Wow, I thought that was gonna be more chunky. Um, but I am curious kind of how it tastes, and so I wanna try with each item, so here we go. Overall, that's a really pleasant salsa. Um, the avocado, like it's it's tasteful in there, but it's not like uh, like full avocado. The salsa has like a nice, um, not spice, but like the element of spice. Like it's not actually spicy, but um, it tastes kind of like a little little kick in there. So I, I like that. Uh, quite a bit. If I have a weight, uh, on a scale of one to ten. I think I would give this a um, I think I'd give this like a um, 
like a 9.7 out of 10. It's just a really good uh, taco. Again, the texture on the shell is a little bit weird. Uh, I don't know if it's really restaurant style, but it, it's a really tasty one, and the cook is just so nice on there. Um, as weird as it sounds, I think the soft taco is actually going to be one of the newest kind of items because that's going to have all the fresh veggies. So let's save that for last. Let's go ahead and get into the quesadilla here. Just going to eat one, one little bit of it. Oh, wow. It's actually like really small. <laughs> um, interesting. This is, it's a little baby. Oh no, it's just folded on top of itself. So it fits in the box. Okay. Um, so there it is. Um, get a little closer cause that tort kind of blends into the paper. Um, basically looks like a normal, uh, quesadilla from this angle, but, um, with it, you get guacamole, which is pretty wild to have a Taco Bell. I, I think they have had items that have come with guacamole before, but that is not like one of their main staple items. So I, I was very interested with this, um, sour cream, and avocado verde salsa so this one overall in taste should be kind of similar to that uh soft taco that i ate there or sorry the crispy taco that i ate but i am curious about this guac so um let's go ahead pull it open first bite we'll just do raw cheers Ooh, it's actually um it's super cheesy uh Super, super cheesy. I don't know if it's intentional, but there's some... Oh, I think it is. There's cheese along the bottom of the quesadilla tortilla there. There's cheese on that. Uh, okay. I said I was only going to eat one piece, but I do want to try one more because I'm very curious. I didn't get a lot of chicken in that one. And so I'm going to kind of... Well, we'll use this one to dip in there, but... Overall, I mostly got cheese there, but that's kind of what you're in a quesadilla for. So let's dip in the guac here. Cheers. Nothing super special with the guac, it doesn't seem like, but uh, I will say it's pretty fresh. Um, it's got like some nice tomatoes in there. It, it's just a pretty good guac. Um, and then let's do one with the uh, salsa verde on top. I'm not going to worry about dipping it in the sour cream. I do that all the time. So there's salsa verde. It's good. Um, I think the salsa verde is, um, it's just a nice little addition to all of it. Um, overall, I think this is fine. This is not really a brand new item. It's, so it's basically just their quesadilla with a little bit of extra cheese on the bottom, of course. Their updated chicken, and um, this one has like regular chipotle sauce on it. It's not their spicy chipotle sauce, but I think this one's good. Uh, but it's not really crazy, you no. Know? It's not really super fresh or anything to me, so I'm going to give this like a, uh, I don't know, that'll be like a, probably like a 7.2 out of 10. Again, it's fine. But it's not blowing anything out of the water. It's not doing anything new. And now here we go. Soft taco. This is where the new stuff is. This is where it lives. Um, so, yeah. So in here we have like uh, some cabbage, cilantro, um, some dang old, uh, some, some pico even, uh, cheese, chicken. And I don't, I think there's an avocado, uh, like their avocado sauce in there already actually even. Um, so you can see there's a lot more veggies in that than you're usually expecting. Usually it's just um, lettuce, maybe a little bit of tomato. But uh, here we got a little bit more. So let's find out. Cheers. Overall, that, that's got a much fresher taste to it in general. Um, I don't know if it's really like restaurant quality, but I mean, nobody was actually expecting that, right? Um, but I think that has a much fresher taste. I'm a sucker for a soft taco. I really like the chicken flavoring on this. Uh, I 
and mixing in that um, that avocado sauce is really good. Let's let's add in because this is their avocado sauce that is on this. So let's add in their av their new avocado salsa. Try with that on there. I think this one's also really good. I think it's a really fresh addition to their menu. It's uh, It doesn't feel like it's sitting quite as hard in my stomach, I think, just because there's a few more vegetables in there. Let's get a sip to refresh the voice. Um, yeah, I think um, overall this is pretty good. I think I like that one a little bit better, but this one's more fresh, which kind of keeps... It, it, it's keeping me guessing. Um, overall, I think I'm going to go for another 9.7 out of 10. I, I think this is a great item. I think it's not restaurant quality, but it's still Taco Bell, so nobody is actually expecting restaurant quality. At least I hope not. Um, but yeah, it should be noted there are two more items on the Cantina menu, but I didn't want to buy or eat $18 worth of Taco Bell. Uh, so there is also a burrito. And there's a bowl as well where it's just like, I guess it's probably the burrito, but deconstructed. Um, but this had the most wide berth of elements uh, that are included in their new menu. So I thought I'd go with these. Overall, I think this was a pretty good menu. Um, I still got a little bit more to munch on here that I totally will. Um, it will be eaten, I guess, right now on camera, but also off camera. But um, if you like this video... Go ahead and drop that like. If you didn't like this video, it's okay to drop that dislike. But let me know what you didn't like about it. If you're like, Coleman, go rest your voice. You could have waited till Tuesday. I'll be like, I know I could have. And honestly, this video might come out Tuesday because I don't know if I'm going to edit it tonight. We'll see. Uh, but regardless, um, let me know what you didn't like about this video so I can make these videos better for you. If you want to be notified of whatever I post, whatever it is, be the first one there, all that good stuff, make sure you ring that little dinger bell. <laughs> Ding. If Emily can stop coughing. Uh, just like that, and uh, I got a hair in my mouth. There we go. Um, so you can see all my videos, stuff like that. If you look in the description, you'll find links to Coco's Great Instagram, Coco's Great TikTok, and Coco's Great Twitter, where we're posting updates, little stuff like that. So make sure you check all those out. And with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.